Hey, it's Jacqueline, nurse practitioner with Login Clinics. I wanted to talk about testing for the coronavirus. Today I worked at my local urgent care and there were many phone calls, many people coming in that wanted to be tested. And these people generally weren't um, a priority given the CDC and World Health Organization's recommendations, but they still just wanted to be tested. Now, that being said, when um, we first had nasal swabs for COVID, they were taking with, um, we have um, at my urgent care, we use LabCorp. They were taking uh, locally about 11 days to come back, which is kind of almost the duration of quarantine. And then once we ramped up testing and LabCorp was able to get more machines to do the testing, then we were at a two-day turnaround. So now we're regressing and we're going backward. And I had patients today waiting six days to get tests. I just received an email from Quest stating that their demand with the recent surge of the number of cases is just being maximized and that we really need to triage people according to um, their, their actual needs. So we have to prioritize our patients. So I talked to a patient on the phone today and she was very upset that she couldn't get a test. She had called multiple places, and the story was she was not symptomatic. She had no risk factors. She had no, you know, asthma, no immune disease, um, no cardiac disease. Um, she wasn't immunocompromised. She had no symptoms whatsoever. Um, her husband is ill, like he has multiple medical comorbidities, but he has no symptoms. And they were around their granddaughter, who was around someone who tested positive for COVID. Um, and the granddaughter tested negative and she still wanted to be tested. Well, she wouldn't qualify for testing and she was looking around, calling around. Um, and so I just wanted to talk about, you know, I understand that there's fear and that, you know, everyone just wants to know, you know, if they've been around someone that has it, if they have it. However, um, early on in this um, disease process where we didn't have the capability to do testing quickly, we didn't have the resources, earlier on we were waiting a really long time for people to get the test results back and they were ending up with complications and death, right? Well, now we've seen the death rate of COVID go down significantly and that's because we can identify these people earlier. So if everyone goes out and gets lots of tests done for no symptoms or I just wanna know if I have it or not, um, it's gonna overload the system so it's something that, you know, that the government and healthcare systems were worried about at the beginning of this. Were we going to have enough um, supplies? Were we going to have enough facilities, enough ventilators? This is, this is the same thing if, uh, in a little bit different context. But um, if everybody gets tested just to get tested, we still have to run those tests. And by running those tests, we're delaying treatment for the people that really need the testing and actually really have um, the virus. So... Anyway, thanks for listening. Um, I look forward to your comments below.